guys welcome back to my channel it's your favorite homegirl ayana martina aka crock pot bay because we are cooking in the crock pot again <laughs> so first step take the lid off so you can access the inside and the meat we're going to be cooking today is going to be these boneless skinless chicken thighs um, i didn't show it on camera but i did rinse them off before i put them in the crock pot all right, so now you got that in the crock pot. We're gonna just slide that bad boy back because we need to mix up a little sauce. So we want some ground ginger, some apple cider vinegar, some soy sauce, pepper again. Some garlic. And then a crazy amount of sugar. So. Okay, so what I'm doing here is just assembling the sauce. Um, I'm putting the measurements on the screen. So if you want to follow the recipe, it's right there for you. Um, I wasn't really talking loud enough in this part, so that's why I decided to just do a voiceover for this portion and like do the words on the screen and whatnot. Trying to make it easy for you guys to still, you know, follow along. <laughs> So once you have everything in the bowl, go ahead and stir it up. There's a massive amount of sugar on the bottom, so it's going to be a little bit tricky at first. And yeah, of course I spilled something because like I said, this is my video. I always spill something. So <laughs> pour the sauce right on top. I like to move the chicken around a little bit to make sure the sauce gets in between all the cracks and everything. And then I cook it on low for four hours. Okay, so this is how we are looking after four hours on low. Um, it, <laughs> it does look kind of gross, but that's solely because this chicken wasn't down in the sauce all the way. Um, so like the next step is supposed to be like you thicken up the sauce with a cornstarch and water mixture because you know that thickens things up um, but it is presently 2 10 a.m. I'm not about to go through and thicken this up tonight plus I gotta skim the fat off the top so this was being cooked for dinner anyway like for tomorrow's dinner technically today's dinner whatever um so i'm gonna let it like just sit here till the morning till it can like cool off a little bit and then i'm gonna put it into the fridge so that the fat can like you know start to coagulate and get separate from the sauce so it's easier for me to skim it off and then i'm gonna show you the thickening process and just the finished product but this is it once it's done cooking and it smells amazing so good so so good <laughs> all right so we're back this is nice and cooled off exactly how i wanted it to be so that right on top the fat is nice and like cold. I can just scoop it off with ease, ideally. Um, I'm just gonna put it into this bowl and then I'm gonna put the chicken into this bowl and then we're gonna pour the sauce into a saucepan and thicken it up. And yes. All right, so. Oh yeah. Got a nice layer of gelatinous fat all 
I think I got off all or at least most of what I can get off. Um, so yeah, let's just start moving the chicken. Get off the fork, Jesus. Probably would have been better if I separated the chicken and the sauce last night. But we're here now. So, whatever. Alright, so I'm going to take this glass and I'm going to put four teaspoons of cold water and four teaspoons of this cornstarch mix it together and then put it into the pan with the sauce and it's gonna get thick so i guess first thing i should do is put the sauce in the pan oh that looks yummy okay now we're here on the front burner and we're going to do our mix over here. Up. Look at that. Looks like milk. to say a watch pot doesn't boil. Ha ha. So once you have your sauce all the way heated through and it's nice and liquid again instead of looking like jello, you want to take your cornstarch slurry, I guess it's supposed to be called. I don't know. Your cornstarch mix and just pour it right in there. And then you wanna let it boil for like one to two minutes and then it should be nice and thick. The recipe say you only gotta boil it for like one to two minutes, but I boiled mine a little bit longer. I want it to be like a little bit thicker. 
So what I'm gonna do is just take the sauce and then pour it back on top of the chicken. Yeah, and then I'm gonna plate it. Um, currently heating up some cauliflower rice and top it with some sesame seeds and then dinner is served. So hopefully you can hear me over the microwave um this is the finished product let me zoom in for you so you can look at it a little nice and like up close and personal so cauliflower rice some teriyaki style chicken from in the slow cooker it is fire um yeah, this was a really fun dish to cook, real easy, real simple, you know, I love simple things, you know, I'm lazy in the kitchen. Um, but yeah, thanks for tuning in guys, really appreciate it, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any of my future uploads, make sure you have... Make sure, you have, make sure you have your notifications turned on so you know when I do an upload. In case you don't already follow me on Instagram, which you should, because that's where I post all the time. And I let you guys know when the video is coming. Um, but yeah, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!